As a youngster, Michael Pritchard loved the programme Tomorrow's World and loved inventions, and now he's enjoyed his own eureka moment, creating the Lifesaver bottle. The things that drove me to do it were the first tsunami that I saw when people going up into the hills and having to drink contaminated drinking water from the wells. And then I saw Hurricane Katrina, and I thought, well, here's a first world country. They've got to be able to respond. Day one, nothing. You know, week one, nothing. Week three, nothing. And you've got these poor people drinking contaminated water. They cost around £200 each. Inside, a mini filtration system removes bugs and other nasties. And each bottle cleanses 6,000 litres before the filters need changing. Instead of shipping 20 tristars worth of water, ship one tristar of Lifesaver bottle. Deliver that to the people, one per family. If they don't get the diseases, you don't need as much medicine. You don't need as many staff. The crisis is actually over cheaper and quicker, and you save more lives. The bottles have basic instructions in symbols on the side, so in theory, wherever they're dropped, they're easy to use. Michael's invested £600,000 in the idea. In return, he's got a prestigious military award for innovation and huge interest around the world from armed forces and aid agencies. It's been rigorously tested, but we went to the riverbank to see it in action. You know, you've still got plenty of bird poo, fish poo, sheep poo, everything, <laughs> everything poo. Um, the water was swilled up nicely to create a murky mix, and then the bottle was filled. And in just a few seconds, the weed, silt, and goodness knows what else had gone Fresh. crystal clear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a few more pumps. Initially, they produced just a 1,000 bottles. They quickly sold out. Now production's being stepped up to cope with demand. Kevin Birch, BBC Look East, in Ipswich.